There we go. All right, welcome to the Food Network with Stephen Hyde. What are you What are you making for us, Stephen? Well, I'm making some scrambled eggs. So the, the deal is, is you don't want to overcook the scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd say start on a lower temperature and uh, really mix it in a lot. So mm -hmm. Very and, important. Uh, take it off before uh, you think it's cooked because it's going to keep cooking a little bit and uh, no one likes dry scrambled eggs. All right, there we go. Cooking secrets yeah. with Steven. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, first race of the season. Really, really good win there. Solid race too, not just, not just yeah. a ride away. So tell me about it. Uh, it was. It was. <laughs> that's exactly how it was. It was uh, not easy uh, at any point. Yeah. And um, I was really nervous. You know, first race of the year, right? So um, it's it's always interesting to see where uh, see where everybody's at, see where Powers is at, see where Tobin's at, uh, see where Curtis is at, and then having an outlier like um, moving over. Oh boy. Having an outlier like Rob Peters. Um, yeah. Whom, you know, I've had the experience of racing but never head-to-head -head, um, for a win, right? We always race yeah. for like 15th or 10th or something like that at these races. So um, it made for a really like dynamic and challenging race. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. even Spencer Petrov being in the mix. Yeah, Petrov being in the mix was pretty, that's pretty incredible. I mean, you know, you don't, uh, uh, you have definitely have a lot of respect for that kid. Um, and he, he races really smart. Um, waiting to see if they you know if the younger kids have it at the end of a race like this For where sure. there's a lot of pedaling um is always kind of gamble right to see if they're gonna actually be there yeah this race um it's the first race of the year there's a lot of nerves and um it's a lot of pedaling it's a lot a lot of pedaling mm -hmm. so a lot of the younger guys play their cards really early and i think you see that uh play out year after year where they're up there in the first three laps and then you never see him again. So seeing Petrov at the end of the race like that was pretty impressive. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. I mean, obviously the big story is still gonna be you and Jeremy this season. I, I mean, it looks like. Yeah. How was it seeing him up there again? I mean, really this race played out almost exactly like it did last year, right? It did. Um, this course, like I said, is um, it's a course for a strong, experienced rider. Um, Jeremy is a strong experienced rider mm -hmm. and um, he showed himself here last year taking two wins um, he's no slouch so um, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting year I think I'm really excited to see how tomorrow plays out yeah and um, yeah how the next couple of weekends with the World Cups and everything go yeah how did you decide which kit to race in Pan Am or National Champ jersey I like them both so much it's a like, really it's tough really, call yeah it's really hard to decide so um, I'm gonna I'm going to wear the national champ kit tomorrow, and um, so we'll date. Oh, nice! Back. I'm very excited. Um, you know, I'm really excited about wearing the Pan Am suit too. So I'm, I'm yeah, I'm riding both. Is the Pan Am kit cooler because it's it's mostly white? So I'm better a, for the hot days. <laughs> yeah, it's better for the hot days, but it's also uh, uh, it's kind of interesting. I feel a lot cooler wearing it until Welp shows up, and then it's a little close to the world champ stripes. That's when he gets a little embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, I have to ask, has Brad Huff influenced your facial hair? And Brad Huff has influenced me. And personal me style. In everyday life. Mm -hmm. And absolutely. <laughs> are we going to see the mullet throughout the season, or are you going to mix it up, do you Oh, think? it's here to stay. Excellent. It's here to stay. This is for America. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, goals for the season. Are you going to do a lot of Euro racing, or have you I decided? Am. Yep, so um, my schedule so far will be uh, uh, obviously the first World Cups here, um, racing through in the US through the Pan Am Championships. Um, and then, so we'll do the Pro CX series. Uh, we'll do, well, the first half of the Pro CX, and then we'll do the US Cup series, which I'm really excited about. Um, and then through Pan Ams, and then I'll head over to Europe from that. Uh, then I won't be back until nationals. Yeah. Cool. And hopefully do the same block where I normally go over to um, stay in Europe till mid February. Nice. Yeah. Well, that sounds really exciting. I'm excited to see yeah. how tomorrow goes. I'm very excited too. Yeah. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you. Stephen.